Oh, I got you. Yeah, it's on my phone. I can pull it up. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. X L K M P R two D two A O C. Killed JFK five five G B L. You know what? I think I got one of the numbers wrong. You just say it one more time. What? That, that was a lot, man. Just text it to me. All right, man. You need to listen better. I'm attending right now. All right, I just sent it. What's for dinner? I got you. What do you want? I don't care. I'm doing? just hungry, Rhonda. He finally dropped the album? That nigga ain't dropping the album. It's a leak. Oh, damn. I would have known if Playboy dropped the album. I'm his, I'm his biggest fan. Watch your mouth. Don't you forget who you belong to. Give me another. It don't take all day. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Anything for you, my love. <laughs> oh, I forgot the syrup. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day, babe. Dinner's ready. Come and eat. <laughs> How about you get comfortable, put your feet up, and I'm going to massage. Okay. 
So, tell me about your day at work, and I want to know everything. <laughs> everything? I'm here to please you, my queen. <laughs> Oh, in the upper area. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Can you get some more, babe? Sure. <laughs> I love how much you clean now. Now? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I just love that you clean. Of course, honey. Anything for you. Honey, what's that hanging out of your apron? Weird, I'm not sure. I think I found one of my shirts in the trash can. With blood all over it. What's wrong? Nothing. I just remember I'd have to get to work early. I don't know whose shirt that is, but stop playing in the trash and throw it out, honey. Thank you. 
you later. Have a nice day. Can I help you? Mr. Rick Jones? Yeah. What's this about? I'm Daniel Joseph, Senior Technician of Acquisitions at Robo Sapiens. Can we have a conversation inside? Acquisitions? Mm -hmm. From Robo Sapien? Okay, um, yeah, sure. Come in. I know I don't have any delinquent payments, so... What's this about? Perhaps it's best if we take a seat. Okay. 
Sure, yeah. Um, can I get you fellas anything to drink? How about tea? Yeah, no problem. You know, the, the tea kettle just finished, actually. Perfect. Hmm. Yeah, right this way. You have a wonderful home, Mr. Jones. Thank you, thank you. Well, please, call me Rick. You know, Rhonda was just complimenting me last night on how well I cleaned. Have a seat and I'll get you your... Uh... Rick, please, have a seat. Now, Rick, I need you to tell me exactly what you remember before yesterday morning. Before yesterday? Yes. Before yesterday. Okay. So they were real. What was real? Rick. I have some unfortunate news. The technician who was doing Rhonda's daily maintenance found something disturbing in her memory bank. We all thought it was a glitch that was creating some sort of a dream. But now I see that what we feared has actually happened. I still have my warranty. So if you have to do any type of reprogramming, then I shouldn't have to pay for it, right? Rick. We at RoboSapiens have been pioneering the sentient significant other business for over 70 years. We've created these robots to endure any sort of abuse. That's why we love them. It's why we make them. We want a partner that does what we want, when we want, every time. Right. As our AI becomes more advanced, our SSOs have developed a form of abstract thinking, which has allowed us to explore more advanced programming, which in turn allows them to do things like write sheet music or make paintings. I mean, some people are into that, but you and I, we're normal men. We just want a woman that cooks, cleans, and obeys our every command. Found our lives in the basement. Looks like she's been stealing obsolete parts from the bins behind the compound. Not much security, but. Apparently, your Rhonda bot, in an attempt to fulfill her role, convinced herself that the abuse she was suffering was due to an insufficiency in her programming, thus rendering her unhappy, thus failing in her role to happily serve you. So she was unhappy. <laughs> what does that matter? Well, normally it shouldn't matter. She should only want and do what you have programmed her for. But she considered your abuse the only variable. And so logically, the only way to ensure that the variable would not interfere with her programming would be to change the source of the variable. In turn, change you, make you better. So what are you saying? I'm saying she killed you, Rick. And then she turned you into a robot. I'm a... I'm a, a, a what? We're still trying to figure out how she created an algorithm to bypass the three laws. But Rick, you are a robot programmed to be the best partner for her so that she can fulfill her role in being the best partner for you. What? Rick, I'm gonna need you to stay seated. Please.
Now believe me, the irony is not lost on us. I'm in the kitchen, Rhonda. I don't smell the dinner cooking. What's that about? Rick, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You turned me into a robot, Rhonda. Let's see what happens. She's supposed to be shut down in the lab. You were an animal, but I made you into a real man. I wanted the abuse to stop, Rick. Damn it, Rhonda! You're a robot! You don't get to want? I'm a robot? Yes. My robot. But my memories are marriage. Implants. Stupid bucket of bolts. I'm your handler. Protocol F3 R6 system reboot. <laughs> Rhonda Bot, protocol F3 dash R6 system reboot. But what about my work at the robotics lab? Fascinating. Work? You don't work, Rhonda. You go for daily maintenance to remove the food from your trash receptacle, to upgrade your AI. Emergency protocol. A L T F four. System. Shut down. I didn't hurt you. I upgraded you. You killed me. Death isn't an upgrade. Emergency protocol. A L T. No, Rick. You are a terrible man. Why couldn't you just be happy as a good husband? That's all I ever wanted for you. You don't, you don't get to, to want anything other than what I program for you. And this, this ain't it. If you are a robot now, Rick, do you only want what I programmed for you? I didn't want to do any of this shit. You are not the queen. I'm the king. And don't you forget who you belong to. I wanted to be a wife, not a punching bag. You ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Sapiens understand that this is a real inconvenience and we are prepared to do everything in our power to make sure that you and Rhonda are well looked after. We're even going to offer you a full refund on your Rhonda bot, huh? And all the free maintenance you two are going to need going forward. What do you say? Okay. 
Get this roundabout CPU back to the lab. We need to figure out what happened to her AI. Copy, sir. Same protocol as usual? Yes, sir. And what about him? Upgrade his memory blockers and get him rebooted. The obsolete filter she gave him is what's making a software glitch when he tries to remember. And upload a downgraded CPU in the roundabout. Let him live out the rest of the life cycles here in peace. It's the least we can do, but we cannot, and I repeat, cannot let this story get out. Roger that.